in England, somebody tried to make a bomb out of a Gatorade bottle, and it was a liquid bomb or something, the, or the CIA found out about it. I don't know, but now none of us are allowed to keep bottles. None of us are allowed to drink bottles of water on the airplane that don't come from the airline business. In France, somebody tried to build, make their shoe into a bomb and wear it onto the airplane. The bomb didn't work, but now all of us have to take off our shoes when we go through inspection. If you have a bottle of water in your luggage and it goes through the scanner and they say, sir, we need to search your luggage, and they'd see the bottle of water and they'd just pick it up and throw it behind their shoulder into the trash can, it's a farce. If that, if that bottle of water was actually a bomb, if, if there was a security threat in that bottle of water, would they just pick it up and just th dump it into a box full of bombs? They don't treat it like a bomb. They don't treat it like a security threat. They're just following protocol. It's made up. It's, it's as George Carlin would say, it's a bunch of imaginary bullshit made up to make white people feel better. My problem with... It's something that I just don't understand. Why people feel better if you seem purposive? If I... One time I was walking around at my grandma's house, and this is a place where people don't walk around. I judge... I judge things in ways that I just don't see other people thinking of them. One way I, I judge an area or a community of people is if I see if I see or don't see a lot of people walking around outside. If, if everybody lives in boxes lined up in rows next to the streets and the only reason why people leave a box is to go to another box which either means their neighbor's house or a car, so that they can drive to another box, which is their workplace, or drive to another box, which is the place where they need to get food because they don't grow food at their box, then this means a lot to me. I, I, see, I see that. And this was one of those places where you don't see people walking around outside. You don't, people, you don't see people swimming or riding bicycles or jogging or looking through telescopes it's a place where people stay in their boxes and i was I, i'm a guy that likes to meander i like to wander i like to just walk i like to travel i like to wander and so i went out wandering i was the only person out there just walking and this I met a few people. The first person uh, wanted to know what I was doing. Now, I would love I'm if they had good intentions about it, I would I would be friendly. If they just want to be my friend or learn about people or say hello, that'd be great. But they asked it in an accusative way. They were suspicious of me that I was doing something malicious when, in fact, I don't have a criminal record. I haven't been seen doing malicious things in that area. I don't look mean. And I'm walking around minding my own business, just walking. If my first reaction, every single time somebody asks me what I'm doing when they don't know me, they ask it in an accusative way and they think they have authority to watch out for things wherever they are, like a security guard or something, my first reaction is to say, it's none of your goddamn business what I'm doing. It's none of your goddamn business what my name is, where I'm from, where I'm going. That's, I only ask for one type of privacy, and that is privacy of mind. I don't, physical privacy, I don't understand so much. And mental privacy, I mean, privacy is not as big a deal for me as it is for a lot of people. But some of these things, but my, the, what I want to be private is much different than what other people do. If somebody asks me to show me my ID, I feel like that's an invasion of my privacy. 
if somebody wanted to watch me naked, I don't feel like that's an invasion of privacy. Am I completely contorted? Is my mind deranged like that? I mean, look at me. I'm... I tell you all these things, and... Anyway. Why is it that that per... If I said that it was none of their goddamn business, they would be like, I'm calling the fucking police on you. And then I'd have to show my... I'd have to both show the police my ID and tell them what I was doing, which is nothing, and they never believe you if you say, I'm not doing anything. They just... That just... that Their suspicion level just goes up tenfold. When... If I go to... A, here's another example. A managingary one I could do tomorrow. Let's say I'm wandering in my car. And I drive up to the gate... And there's three steps. At, the, at this military base, there's three steps that are done every time. You open up, you, I mean, you look friendly and say hello and appear not to be stressed out like you have a bomb on you or something. And you open all the car doors and you open the trunk. And you let them go through anything they want. And if they want to bring out something, to, some kind of chemical nose to sniff for bombs or something and put it under the car and check for any explosives and all that, you let them do that. That's the first step. The second step is to show your ID and registration. And the third step is for them to ask you, What's your business here, son? See, I got the problem with that gut reaction. I mean, at the military base, I would not let that come out. Because they'd, they'd take different action than just say, Why don't you turn around and leave, please? Uh, possibly. Where was I? I don't even... From a security perspective and from a, a social engineering, you know, somebody that's interested in hacking and logical security, security through logic, security through thinking, instead of walls. It's, it's just such a farce, more, maybe more than, I mean, just as much as the airport. They ask you what you're going to do there. What's your business here? If I said, I'm just, I'm just driving around, they'll say, well, you can't drive through here. Okay. If I say, the accounting department here called me back for a job interview. And they'll say, okay, go right on through. If I say, my dad's a teacher here at the elementary school. And he called me and needs help carrying some boxes out. Okay, go right through. Truth, their truth doesn't matter. It only matters how they feel. They feel that you have purpose. In just the same way as the pe at the person in the community I was walking through with no purpose. People don't feel good if somebody's walking around and they don't know who they are, I guess, or they don't know what their purpose is. 